All right, guys, we're working on front door rehab. I've got this piece of aluminum here, and that is going to replace the rubber gasket on the front of the bus that's just not secure enough for me to put a lock set through, obviously. This piece of aluminum should fit perfectly over the door. I just have to cut a side off of it, and to do that, I have... This is like an 80-tooth carbide tipped blade. This is the best saw blade I have. Craig jig is big enough to cut through it, so I just did a little test run, and it's, it looks great. I'm gonna cut this, and then we'll go from there. Front door rehab, locks on the bus. Very important because if I can get this done today, then I can put a lot of stuff that's in my staging room on the bus because my parents are coming Saturday morning and the our guest bedroom is a freaking disaster. All right, let me cut this thing. Okay, so I think that went pretty well. well I'm gonna get some sandpaper now and clean up this edge. I'm still wearing my goggles. I guess I think they look cool. I gotta take a little piece of this off to make that work. So I'm gonna do that and then come back. I got this oscillating tool for $40. I figured this would definitely come in handy. And I was wondering if I could make a straight cut with it. And first try, it actually like turned out pretty good. So that was cool. That saved me some time because you know, I was gonna have to unscrew this and this, so. Hey bus gang, we got some visitors. Hello. 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 <laughs> You guys are hilarious! Oh, it's so pretty! What a nice bracelet! Hello! Bye! Oh, there it is! Hello! Hi, Pipe. Hello! Boom! Alright guys, so I got two screws into this piece for now. And I'm gonna install the lock set next. It actually kicks out a lot further than this plate, because the door is thicker than this wall. Having the lock set be up here is not exactly going to work. Down there, however, so down here we have a thicker wall. The thicker wall like this. And I think that would be great. So if I can make a big enough hole here, it might be a huge pain in the butt to somehow drill both of these out. We're going to figure it out. Okay, so now we've got a template. I've got to drill a hole through here. And then I gotta drill another size hole right through here. This is like a pretty technical thing that you don't want to mess up. So I'm gonna take my time. You should take your time. I'm not gonna film me taking my time because it would take too much time. I got this lock set in here. Pretty sweet. This is working pretty well. Hopefully it works with the key also. Pretty cool. And now the big task is just getting a hole that's that size or slightly larger into that. When I'm over there, so you can see it but there's there's an inside wall that goes along here there's actually no way for me to get it out the only thing I can do is maybe bend it deep in there maybe yo so I had to pull out the big dogs this thing and the five pound sledge I was able to clear that through there so let's see now how this deadbolt works so this is great that's perfect but without the strike plate, it's got quite a bit of give. Actually, yeah. Well, that's, that's very bad, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I failed to install this lock set pretty much entirely. It's probably just got to do with the mechanics of this door, because I wanted to keep the bifold, because I wanted to keep the air assembly. But I think that setup is not going to allow me to use this lock, because, hey, guess what? You can just, with enough force, Pull it open. That's no good. I think it's the bifold thing, which I could change. Uh, but also, you know, maybe this is like a dummy lock. I might have other locks. I don't know. The other thing is that during my assembly, broke this key system. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say this lock is kind of puny. Yeah, this does nothing now. Like, literally nothing. So, that's a total bust. I'm calling it quits today. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do about this, but... Yeah, you guys saw the issues. It didn't work out. My parents just got to Charleston, and my dad has never seen the bus, and I'm gonna show it to him. Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So pretty. Wow. <laughs> I hope I get to be a really old man, and I can just come and sit here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
days on end. Penwin's writing retreat. There we go. <laughs> we have soft closed drawers. Oh, goodness. Custom plywood me. drawer fronts. Just put this refrigerator in the other day. Boom! This is an uh, electrical cabinet. This is going to get filled with lots of other electrical components and batteries. That is wild. Look at this whole thing. Yep. <laughs> this is wild. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. We're getting there. Oh, this is so cozy. Yeah, right? Oh, it's super cozy. Oh my goodness. You coming, Nomi's? Come, come up. up and go to bed. <laughs> For this bed. Should we go night night? Wow, you got the whole thing. You got the whole thing. covered in solar panels. Hey guys, Nova's sleeping. And I just bought another lock for the bottom of this door. I'm gonna try and get it on before she wakes up. There's no chance it's gonna happen. Nova's still sleeping. I've been messing around for like 20, 30 minutes. I had a come to Jesus moment when I was trying to make the second lock, which is gonna be locking through the floor of the steps work. I just, I need to stop resisting. Really the thing is that I didn't want to get rid of the, the air operated door. I thought it was cool. I thought it was really cool. And on my drive home from California, just Slamming that door open with that, you know, just I did it all the time. You know, you run outside, you make sure you're not gonna hit anything, you check, you know. Long term, it's just not quite right, and I'm finally admitting it. And also, if I turn this into one door that swings outward, then my lock set works. Insulate and put the mat that I want to on the floor. The day and not the bus conversion. Okay, guys, I finally saw the light. I'm making this accordion door outward swinging but i've removed um some of the mechanism up here the air assist and uh now you can open this to about 75 degrees i'd like to be able to get it to open all the way but there's a really stiff thing i've got to somehow hammer out from inside here for now i'm taking this off i'm going to connect these two doors and then that lock will function i'm going to put some of my electrical components in here not to worry about it so Today's agenda, finish this door. You know, it won't really be finished, but it'll be more functional. This top plate and this bottom plate. This door is now locked. You can't you can't pull it inside anymore. So that's locked, but there's still all this give here. So the last step is gonna be I'm gonna run some thicker plate, uh, more or less top to bottom. also converting a Gillig Phantom school bus. You can find him on Instagram at comfort underscore eagle. He did this before me. Did a little bit differently, but he said that his door now is like the door to a vault. And I can see why he said that, because this thing is rock solid. It doesn't turn. It's like I made it way too tight. I don't know. It doesn't turn. Something's not. What am I missing? I think I know what I'm missing. 
for the time being, we have a locked door. Can't even get open because I don't have a handle yet. But yeah, door modifications are still in progress, but at least for now, it's rock solid, it's lockable, and we're about to go on a trip. I'm glad that I can leave this thing locked. Until next time, guys, stay bus converting.